microphone just a little bit so we can hear you. Uh, forgive me, I have a terrible cold. <clears throat> um, my name is Teresa Evans, and I'm a former PTA president and a parent of children in the Hampton School Districts. Um, and I come here tonight to give my concern about um, the budget meeting that took place on January 9th. Okay. <clears throat> um, so um, I felt it was important to come and speak to the Committee of Selectmen and voice um, my concern as a community member and parent um, that I was both stung and disappointed by the, I'm going to call them proceedings, that the recent budget committee had on January 9th. <clears throat> Having forced myself to watch it in its entirety, um, I came away feeling physically sick. I realize that in some ways the budget committee has deemed themselves the sheriffs, protecting the citizens of Hampton from those who seek money from the tax people. I have no objection um, to discussions, to curious inquiry, in inquiry, and even well-mannered disagreement. This isn't not why I came tonight to speak. The committee, not all members, is my caveat, <laughs> but several members of the committee came uh, with clearly hostile intentions, seeking to disrupt, demoralize, and condescend our SAU Superintendent Kathleen Murphy and Nathan Lunny. I've spoken to many, and words like inappropriate, unacceptable, demeaning, and abhorrent have been used to describe the overarching tone of that meeting. For the chairman to use words to describe prior budgets as suspicious speaks against the clear transparency of the SAU team. Um, to antagonize Superintendent Murphy about his detaste for words like collective bargaining, not a concept she penned, or taunting of the word cop in place of our school's language of safety resource officer was petty and unprofessional. For a member of the committee to seek specifics on security of our schools in a public forum is both mindless and arrogant. Seeking self-importance is man's greatest flaw. There are truly no words for the exchange of the inappropriate remarks that the chairman made, not once, but twice, regarding seeking hugs and kisses from a professional woman representing our schools. Did he cross a line? Would he have made those comments if it was a man? Um, how can you, in a position of authority, a, a word he likes to use and enjoys using himself, bargaining for his vote for a hug and kiss? Perhaps, perhaps best left to the wisdom of the young, <clears throat> it's described by a 13-year-old as creepy and inappropriate. We are raising our children to speak out against such disrespect. In closing, I offer a piece of advice to the Budget Committee. <clears throat> Read the book, Team of Rivals. This is the story of Abe Lincoln and the creation of his cabinet. He surrounded himself with opposing views, even those that ran against him in the election, for the betterment of the nation. He never spoke ill and welcomed differences with respect and character. To leave with a voice much wiser than I, he penned, nearly all men are able to stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to also encourage that we have more room tomorrow night at the upcoming meeting if we could move it to a larger room than this. Well, that's, that's up to that board themselves. Okay. It's not up to us. Okay. I, I totally agree with you. I think it's... Uh, we're planning to do it in this room, and I think there's going to be a lot of people there. There are. Uh, so hopefully, maybe he'll hear this and we'll encourage him to. Thank to you. Move. I appreciate your time. I like to actually add on to what you just said about sure. all that. Um, I went down this afternoon and spoke with the superintendent, and she did say that she had not heard back from the budget committee chairman, nor had I at that time. That was about four o'clock, mm -hmm. a little bit before four o'clock, and she did say that if you know that decision is made that she would be able ready to, to go with have that. the school all ready to go mm -hmm. so rush the way too right yeah yeah it's ready to go if it's requested that's all that needs to happen so oh, good. thank you very thank much thank you for coming so much out. i appreciate your time folks is there anybody else from the audience that would like to speak
public comment. Yes. 